Well, hello and welcome back to Griffin, Indiana. It's been a little while since we've been here, so I need to remind myself of what's going on. The grass is fully grown. Aha! We're making bales. I remember now. And what we need to do is get all the bales done for this field and then hire a... a thing to pick them up with. Right, so we'll get on with that. Uh, get on with that while we're trying to remember what else is going on. But, um, yes, I think this is the main goal. Get these bales popped out. That would be really good. The tractor's doing really well for us still. The 7719. Ooh. Really good. Should have a lot of bales here, actually. Which is useful because we're going to need a lot of bales. Not sure how we're going to get them inside the uh, in the hayloft. Certainly need to put some in the cow barn itself. We'll have to wait and see, won't we? Right, we're on twenty thousand pounds. We haven't obviously got any crops in these fields yet. I think uh, sorghum and soybeans seems to be the ones that make the most money. Um, we have got crops in the silo got both wheat and oats in the silo they'll be going till christmas we've got milk we need to get ourselves a tanker for the lorry and then we can um well we need a tanker for both the milk and we need a tanker for slurry so if we can get the slurry sold uh, manure can be taken in, in a trailer that's easy enough. But if we can get the slurry sold to the BJ, or wherever you can sell slurry, I'm not sure where you can sell slurry at the minute. Uh, let's have a quick look. Uh, slurry, here we are. Biogas plant, yeah. Oh no. Lots. Uh, no, yes, biogas plant, sorry. So, biogas plant, best year, is it best is December or January? However, we're making it constantly, and at the moment, we have no room left for it at all. So it'd be worth trying to get a tanker today to get as much sold as possible. It'd be good to get down to 100,000 litres, because we're never going to need as much of that at all. But hey, that outlines pretty much what I want to get done today. First of all, we need to get these bales made. That's going to be number one job. And then we need to get them all picked up as well. So I'll get these made and then I'll see you when we are looking at what we're going to use to pick them up. Well, there we are, coming up to the end of bailing. It was actually a longer job than I anticipated, but it's all done now. Now it's just the minor case of picking them all up, which I am absolutely not doing with the front loader.
No, nope, we're going to get a special tool for picking these up. So a, a bale stacker, basically. Uh, so let's take the baler back to the farm. We have got a lot of bales to pick up there. So a nice big bale stacker would be absolutely fantastic. We'll only be leasing it. We won't be buying it. Uh... And then we'll have to get on with some cultivation work as well. Especially if we want to put in something like canola, which will be due to be planted basically next month. But I don't know if we do want to put in canola. I still am unsure. So we might just leave it and put in some spring crops. So what we need to look at first. Well, let's see if there's anything in the sale to start with. And no. Ah, we've just bought one of those. <laughs> right, anyway. Um, bale loaders, that's what we want. Uh, there is an option there. There's an option there. They do 120 centimetre bales, so that's no good. 240 centimetre bales. So that's one for the small bales, is it? 14 bales as well. That's pretty cool. I didn't even know that was in here. Well, that's one I'd like to use at some point. So our options are this one or this one. Uh, both will do 14 bales. Both will do the right sizes. Well, we'll have to go for the cheaper one, I guess. Uh, yep, we'll lease that. 1,590. Well, it'll be worth it. We'd probably spend that in fuel if we used the front loader. Not to mention uh, losing all the subscribers through boredom. Okay, anyway, I'll go pick that up, and we will... Oh, 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 sugar. Hmm. Nice little pirouette there. But I do want to be facing the other way. So that'll teach me for rushing. Right. Let's head off. Oh, I'll tell you what we could do. Uh, yeah, let's pop in and take back that milk tanker. Because that's still got to be worth a fair little bit of money. And if we can get a tanker or a you know, slurry tank or something for the for the uh, lorry. Now, a lot of people are going to be um, not very happy about this. But I could use the same tanker for slurry and... milk hmm well let's take this one back and sell it anyway oh do we want to do that do we want to do that come on animals I'm full of indecision right so the lorry one here 68,000 it can do milk but it can't do slurry uh where I want a slurry tanker, really, to start with. One that goes on a lorry. There's one. 95,500 and only does 30,000 litres. Good Lord. That is a lot. Mm. Might have to lease it just to get rid of a lot of slurry. In that case... <laughs> I'm going to turn this this rig right back around and we're going to keep this milk tanker. Quite like the milk tanker anyway. But uh, if you remember, what I said last time is we are not going to be selling any more milk until we can afford the dairy. Because we want to put that milk into production. Uh, that's absolutely what we want to do. And at the moment, we're nowhere near the capacity of our cow barn for milk. Right then. That grass looks absolutely bang on ready to cut again. We're going to get all of that into the, the fermenting silo. Get it turned into slurry. But, not slurry, silage. But the first thing we need to do is get that bale loader back. Get all the bales loaded up. 
get as many as the cows want into the cow barn and the rest up into the hay loft or the straw loft so that's that's what's happening right here we are back with the bale collector put that into its operating mode and we'll start picking up all the bales this is going to take quite a while but I'll pick up the first 14 and we're going to put them all into the cow enclosure as straw the rest of them can then go in the hayloft but um, yeah we have got a lot to pick up and this, this will make things a lot easier but I'm not hanging on to it it will be returned once all the bales have been picked up Especially as the next cut of grass isn't going to be bales, it's going to be foraged into the silo. I think we've got quite a few hay bales. Already? So we're 50% of the way there. We've only done a small section of the field so far, so there is going to be quite a few trips, I feel. Quite a few trips indeed. Right, two more and then we've got a full load. If we go around this end, we'll grab these two up here. And then, like I said, it can go in straight into the cow enclosure as bedding. Because it does accept bales as bedding. There we go. Get that put away. Yeah. Superb. And the only thing is, it does stand this stack upright before it releases them. So there's a good chance that we're in for some sort of cabaret act. Question is, will it even fit through the door? Hopefully. And can I even drop it off in the middle? That's the other question. Oh, well, it'll fit through the door if I get it right. If I don't get it right, it won't fit through the door. Come on, we can do it. Yes, there we go. Yeah, there's no way that this thing can lift up in here. So how on earth are we going to do this? Uh, let, let's see what happens. Yep. There we go. That is all the bales dumped out there. Possibly right where they shouldn't be. Hmm. Well, what a pickle to be in. Right, I'll get this uh, out of this pickle and we'll go from there. Right, the pickle has been sorted and it's time to carry on collecting bales. So we're going to start time-lapsing this now. Uh, we'll probably have the same issues when we go up to drop them off in the hay barn, but that's okay. Because we can always get ourselves out of a pickle. Right, let's get the rest of the bales picked up.
Right, well that is a lot of bales we've now put in the in the top. And we're doing really, really well. And I figured, well, if we can make more than five thousand pounds with this load of bales, then the um the rental has paid for itself. And we can store the rest. So I think we'll do that. We'll take this lot to sell. And selling this lot will be where are we? Straw. Uh, Larson's livestock. So we will go and sell these bales. These 14. Hopefully we'll make a good amount of money. Because if we can make £5,000, like I say, we've paid for the rental of this. Just like with the slurry tanker. If we can... Yeah, that would probably be just over £5,000 as well. And if we can make that much, then it's paid for itself. So this, this 14 bales here are going down to Larson's livestock. And if we haven't made enough, the next 14 can go down there as well. Um, but, but yeah, we're going to have absolutely plenty in storage. No need to worry about that at all. So we're going to get on with it and see how it goes. Got me tiptoeing around you like you made a glass. Got an invincible fence, letting everyone know not to trespass. But you're bound to break down, bound to lose. Bound to get knocked right out of your boots when I use my You got me tiptoeing around you like you made a glass. Got an invincible fence, letting everyone know not to trespass. But you're bound to break down, bound to lose. Bound to get knocked right out of your boots when I use my witchcraft. When I use my witchcraft. Well, that was a close one. For a train that hardly ever comes along. It came along gen then at just the wrong time. Oof. Well, now that that's passed, um, we had three full loads. So that's 42 bales um, that we kept for ourselves. The first load, 14 bales, went into the cow's enclosure as bedding. The other two loads went upstairs and into the hay barn. Then we brought two loads over here, and this is the last six to deposit. And overall, we've made over £30,000 from those remaining loads as well, which is absolutely incredible. Because it's... so much more than the, um, the machine cost, or rental cost, even. In fact, let's return it now. Look at that. Use it for half an hour only, and that's it. Um, so what I was looking at doing maybe was just getting a... Where are we? Slurry tank. I was on it. That will go on the back of the tractor. I mean, that one will take... Oh, it takes 350 horsepower. We do not have that much. We have 220 horsepower, which is not bad. But also not enough so what's the biggest run we can get with our for our horsepower it's 275 220 that is pretty much it isn't it which is 20,000 liters at a time that might have to do hmm
Let's lease that, £6,120. And we'll take that up with this. Get the um, slurry pit emptied as much as we can. And just keep bringing loads down to uh, down to here. To the biogas plant. Right. We're keeping the manure, so uh, yes. Next time we're going to be cutting the grass, and the time after that, we need to be getting the manure onto the two fields and getting the fields cultivated up. We've got plenty of manure to, to put on the fields. So yeah, cutting the grass is going to be the uh, the first thing we need to do. Get it all into that um, fermenting silo. Possibly a good opportunity maybe to increase the size of our forage wagon. Because all those trips add up. However, all these trips right now are going to add up as well. Because we're going to need to do at least sort of 10 trips with this thing. To make a decent amount of money. And that will only empty half of the slurry that we've got. So, we best get on with it, I suppose. have a slight problem the biogas facility is full oh dear how much would it cost to buy the biogas plant that's not the biogas plant that's the biogas plant oh the biogas plant is not for sale unless it's purchasable here somewhere seemingly not looks like the biogas plant is not for sale so what can we buy to put on our land that would take slurry and turn it into money. That's a separator. Stationary separator. Hmm. Another separator. A bunker. 
Well, that doesn't take slurry. That's unloading point for biomass. Right. That doesn't take slurry. Is there a biomass or facility that we can buy? Hmm, that's methane. Ah, a fermenter. That takes slurry. 380,000? Are you mad? Ugh. Well, I guess not. Oh, look at the size of that. Right, what about the se the smaller separators? Twenty five thousand. And what does that give me? Separates the solid fraction of liquid manure that could be sold or used as bedding or fertilizer. Hmm. I'm going to think on on that one. Right. So, in reality, all we've done, basically... Oh. In reality, all we've done, basically, is made the money back that we... Um... Oh, hang on. There's a trigger here. I missed that one. Buy the biogas plant for £940,000. Well, bye then. So yeah, we've made the money back that we spent on renting the, um, the tanker, basically. And that is it. Not ideal. Not ideal at all. But that's what we appear to have done. So, not a lot more we can do. Um, I'm going to sell it. Oh, well, not sell it. I'm going to return it. Uh, we're going to make plenty more slurry, so there's no worry about the fact that there were still 20,000 litres into that tanker. Um, but, yeah. Well, that's where we are. We'll end the episode there for today. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you again very soon. Bye for now.